Have you ever wondered the difference in quality between phone audio and a decent microphone? Isn't that so different? Quality audio. I've been spending all morning downloading and organizing streams. I stream on Twitch, just in case you didn't know. I also have an online store where I sell stickers. Plug. So I was doing some research last night and I found out that there are some plants that you can actually grow in a winter garden down here in Louisiana. Mostly root vegetables, which I'm totally fine with because root vegetables grow relatively fast. So they should be done by the time I wanna start a spring garden in like February. So I went through all my seeds last night and I picked out uh, some radishes, turnips, basically just like the root vegetable seeds that I have. And then also a couple gourds, just because I'm really, I'm want, I wanna grow some gourds. I really wanna grow gourds. <laughs> I like gourds, they're, they're a craft project plant. I think I like gourds more than I like flowers, which is very silly. I have a very, if you can't eat it, why would you grow it sort of perspective when it comes to things like ornamentals, like flowers. I personally feel like there's no point in growing something that you can't get like actual sustenance from. And I know that pretty things like flowers can provide you with emotional sustenance, but for me, it just feels like such a like waste which is very silly, flowers are fine. But for some reason, my brain just loves gourds. And I think it's because you can craft things with them. They're a very crafty plant because they basically make like these pretty wooden bowls or wooden bird houses. Gourds are just incredible. I love gourds so much, but they take a really, really long time to grow. So I went through some of my gourds and I found two that I'm gonna make just a couple plants for now to kind of satiate that I love gourds feeling. I have uh, bushel gourds and birdhouse gourds. I tried to grow some gourds up north in Washington uh, last year, in 2021, and I managed to get a bunch of nest egg gourds, goblin egg gourds, and one birdhouse gourd. And I took that and opened it and got all the seeds out. And so I'm gonna try and hope that the seeds weren't cross-pollinated. There is always a chance that they were cross-pollinated and I might not actually get any decent gourds off of it, but I'm gonna try it and I'm gonna hope. Even if they're cross-pollinated, I feel like it's just gonna make a really cool new hybrid, so I'm fine if it's cross-pollinated. Because the only things that it could have cross-pollinated with in my Washington garden is either a nest egg gourd, a goblin egg gourd, or a zucchini. Because, or maybe a pumpkin. Because those were the only squash that I had growing up north. And like, if I make a birdhouse pumpkin gourd hybrid, I'm totally fine with trying to dry it out and see if it works as a weird new gourd. I don't know, we'll see. It's gonna be a year long experiment, especially because I wanna grow a bushel gourd. Bushel gourds are huge. They're like these massive bowl shaped gourds, which means that they're gonna need a lot more time to actually get established. So I'm starting a couple of those and we'll see, we'll see. But we're gonna go, we're gonna plant some peas, carrots, radishes, various root vegetables and such. I also realized that I have a bunch of lemon seeds, so I kind of want to plant them and just see if I can get some lemon seeds to germinate, because I love lemon trees. Unfortunately, if I can get a small lemon tree to start growing, it's gonna have to be a potted plant because it's not going to be able to survive here. Yeah, it looks like if I want to do citrus, it's gonna have to be a potted citrus, which I'm fine with because we're not gonna be in this house forever. And I would like to, if I if I work on a tree, to be able to bring it with me wherever we go. Oh, also today is rock tumbler day. We get to change out the rocks that we're polishing in the rock tumbler for the final grit. And then it's gonna go for like one more week and then I'll have some very pretty shiny rocks. Okay, let's go outside and throw some stuff in the dirt and water it in. So I found out this weird little plant that was in this planter is actually a pine tree. So I took one out because I wanted to save it and I potted it in a little thing and we're gonna see. I don't know, maybe I'll have a pine tree. And then I can probably actually transplant that kale outside. So maybe I'll do that today as well. Yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna take this outside. Come with me, little kale. The rock tumbler's done. I'm coming back for you. There's my garden bed. It's so chilly today. That corner always floods. I don't know if I should do anything about it. I wanna leave this okra. I was going to pull up some of the basil. It's not like I'm really using it right now. I think I maybe will just pull up this like, smaller one 
although it's probably fine. The onions look like they're doing pretty well. Uh, this tomato plant has finally started to fall over, and also the other tomato is finally starting to ripen. These little things need to be pulled up. These are pine trees that have fallen from there and then come out of pine cones, and I don't want to grow a pine tree in my garden bed, so we're just going to pull all those up. So the first thing I want to plant is actually this. These are a carrot mix that is in a paper. Oh no, it got wet. That's a problem. So this is a carrot mix confined in like a tissue, so you can just bury them and then all of your carrots are perfectly spaced out, which is really nice. And I want to do a couple of those just across this bed. Oh, I got worms in here. Oh, that's great. Maybe like one more row. They're gonna be kind of close, but that's fine. It's not a very big garden bed. So I'm thinking the kale I'm just gonna stick in this little corner. So the next thing I have is this like tiny jar of gourmet radish blend. It's just a bunch of random radishes. So I'm just gonna throw the entire thing in here kind of random. I know what radish seedlings look like. These are a bunch of seeds that I saved from up in Washington in 2021, so I'm also just going to throw a bunch of these because I don't know how viable they are. We're going to find out. There's a lot of radish seeds in there now, so... Hopefully something comes of it. Another thing that I have are these Detroit dark red beets. I'm just gonna plant a couple, I think, here. Cause I'm not like a huge fan of beets, but I do want to try and grow some. I think they're very good for juicing. I did three spots and then I also sprinkled them. So again, we're just gonna see if anything comes of this. So one of the last things I wanna do is I wanna use the last of this pea packet and just kind of sprinkle it around in this corner. And then also I'm just gonna throw what's left of this spinach kind of everywhere because I can never get spinach to grow so I might as well just kind of throw them haphazardly and just see what comes of it. Hopefully that works. Okay, first we're going to take this off so you can see what it looks like inside because it's tumbler day. Look at that muddy goo. Is it brown Good. again? Okay, let's go rinse it. We need the, yeah, you got the strainer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. Yeah. oh my gosh, they look so different and so small. They're so tiny. Just turned into pebbles. Some of them just turned into pebbles. Wow, you gotta really start with some pretty big rocks. <laughs> yeah. They're, like, they're gonna be nothing. Gee, they're by gonna the be end. nothing by the time we get to the end. Yeah. They're so pretty. They're so shiny. Okay, I'm gonna get some pictures and then we can load them up. Well, when you put the top on, it won't matter. Let's seal it, yeah. Um, seven to ten days. Okay, we'll set it to seven. Yay! So we ended up going to Lowe's. I got some bags of topsoil and compost, but the main thing that we went there to get were some new shelves. Because Joe and I have realized that we're both very visual people, and if we can't see things, then we forget that they exist. So we're trying to move away from cabinets and get more shelves. We removed all the doors from our cabinets, so now they're just kind of shelves so we can see everything at all times. It took us a couple hours to put these shelves together. We have another one that's going to go in the office closet, but that one's for another day. But I think this is going to be much better for us. Oh, it looks great. I think that's all of them. Oh, that shelf is gonna fit perfect. perfect. Look, oh, it fits perfect. I like it. Me too. I, I like really this. like it. Yeah, this is so much storage space. <laughs> yeah. Oh, these are great. Oh, I'm so happy with these shelves. More plushies. Look, so much space for, to put plushies. I don't know. Let me just stick them on the top for now. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, 
It looks so great. Yeah.